Hey everybody, it's Delicia here with another exciting box unveiling from one of my favorite cigar clubs, Pravada Cigar Club. Um, again, you can find them on pravadacigarclub.com. If you haven't stopped by their website, again, it's one of those really cool clubs that it's a steal because you're getting, first of all, you're getting three cigars that are aged, limited edition, super rare, hard to find. They're basically doing all the hard work for us and they're only charging $25.99 a month, which is, again, it's a steal. So you go on their website, you fill out the little questionnaire that asks you some questions specific to what your certain taste profiles might be like, what time of day you like to smoke, stuff like that, so they, they can get to know you a little bit better. And then somebody actually custom picks the three cigars that come to you every month. So it's like a fun, you know, birthday surprise every single month right to your doorstep. And they're always perfectly humidified, ready to smoke, ready to enjoy as soon as you receive them. So again, um, I'm always excited every month to receive my shipment and I try to share that with all of you. Um, I, I don't open it ahead of time, so I don't know what's in here, but I've yet to be disappointed. In fact, I'm actually smoking this Pier 28, which is a cigar that was in, I believe it was in my last shipment. So, um, you know, it's always fun to just enjoy those great cigars. And again, they're the cigars that are harder to find, not cigars that you would normally see in any regular brick and mortar. So again, they're those rare type of limited steals that um, Brian does all the work. Plus my favorite part actually, aside from the fantastic cigars, is the write-up that comes along with the cigar. So. Um, I don't know anyone else that's doing such an extensive amount of writing. So um, Brian likes to send out these little mini novels, which I personally love. And so I'm going to go ahead and read that as I normally do and get into this box and see what's inside this month. Mm. And as always, I have to put my, my cigar down. I need a, that extra hand in here to help me out. So boxing has been um, pretty consistent since I started as a member a while back. They have the personalized box with their stamp, Provada Cigar Club, since 2017. And then again, that lovely write-up that I mentioned. I mean, this is literally um, a mini novel. So I'm actually a huge fan of this. To me, this adds that extra value to this club because he's taking the time to not only just go out and hunt and pillage and discover these really cool cigars but actually sitting down and telling the little bit of the backstory as to how you know they got these cigars as well as the different tasting notes and you know pairing recommendations and it's just a lot um which again i'm a huge fan of so course you get your nice little pack here which I'll go ahead and open and it always comes with the proper uh, Boveda pack I'm trying to get that without looking at the cigars I like the surprise element so that Boveda pack is always in you know every package here so again they're ready to smoke ready to you know put into your humidor whatever you choose to do with your shipment but I love that so oh my goodness so again, I always feel, and I don't know if, I'm pretty sure the rest of you that are members already can attest to this, but I feel like these cigars are literally just, okay, we thought of Delicia and we're gonna go out and send her these cigars every single month. And it's not a, a, a joke. It's literally every time I get my shipment, I'm like, I'm so excited. So I'm looking at the first one here. That's the Foundation Wise Man Maduro. Hello, I love, and it's a Lancero. Again, speaks to my heart. Definitely feel like this was sought after for me in mind because I love the Lanceros and a huge fan of um, all of Nick's line. Foundation Cigars makes an incredible line of cigars. In fact, my number one pick last year was their High Clear Castle, which again, blended by Nick Malillo. So, I'm sorry, Malillo. I always pronounce his last name wrong because I just pronounced the double L that way. Anyways, so Foundation Wiseman Maduro. So here we go, let's read this write up. 
I actually want to light this up right away. Can you believe it? One of, one of the, what is this? Oh, I'm sorry. There's a little break in here. So can you believe it? One of the hottest cigars in the industry and they not only made us a special batch, but they even put a custom band on it for us. Here is how the cigar came about. My wife and I are in Los Angeles at a cool day bar smoking lounge called State Social House. I know that place. We are having cigars and drinking heavily when a guy walks in. I swear I know him from somewhere. After a few moments, he pulls out a laptop that has the name D Nice across the top. Now, if you're from New York in the 90s or grew up on NYC hip hop, you know D Nice. He's an artist, a rapper, a photographer, a celebrity DJ, and an all around New York intellectual. Oh, cool. I met D during my music career briefly, but we had friends in common. I did not know Brian had a music career briefly. I'd like to touch on that later. Um, I walked over and introduced myself and referenced a few people we both know. D was as friendly as I remembered him to be. P.S. Go on YouTube and search. My name is D Nice. I remember that. This was his first single when he was a young hip hop artist. We spoke for a while and I mentioned Provada Cigar Club. He loved the idea. He mentioned his friend Nick owned a cigar company that just received number three cigar of the year. I said, yes, of course, Foundation Cigars. Those guys are on fire and I cannot figure out how to reach them. D takes my info and eventually CCs both Nick and yours truly on a text. We communicate for months and then I pop the question, Nick, will you make us an exclusive cigar? To which he replies, no, LOL, but I will make you the most sought after cigar I make in a special batch just for the club with your own band on it. To which I reply, okay, that works. Trying to contain my excitement the entire time, LOL. Nick is another artist. Yes, he is. Birds of a feather flock together. And if you watch Nick Melillo on Instagram, he's either backstage at a cool show or in Nicaragua where he has lived for well over 10 years, originally from Connecticut. Nick worked for Drew Estate until 2015 when he left to start his own brand. Four years later, he is on top of a very hard to saddle industry. You go, Nick. Thank you for being so gracious and seeing our vision. It is an honor to have this cigar in our club. This cigar has a firm draw for, and for good reason. It is intentional. The full flavor of this cigar with too loose a draw would, would overpower. The cigar has an MSRP of $13 but I've never seen it in a store for less than 17. And I've only seen it in two stores this year because most sell out quickly, yep. This is a San Andres wrapper around Nicaraguan binder and fillers. Tasting notes, sweet hay and barnyard on the body along with a floral note, rich tobacco on the foot, once lit, boom, yep. Uh, Let's see, pepper and incense, sweet creamy leathery smoke with sugar coated blast of wasabi. Be careful retrohaling in the first third. I would only smoke this with a dark coffee, yes, or a liquor. Uh, espresso, chocolate, bread, red pepper, and leather, and a beautiful sugar floral note that gets very bright. Marshmallow flavor replaces the floral note. Grassy vegetal notes appear and then turn into lemongrass and dark bitter chocolate. Red pepper is dying but still full along with sweet cream, nutmeg, and a note that reminds me of spicy Thai soup with coconut and lemongrass. Jeez, that's amazing. I love the descriptions. As it progresses, it calms down and notes of tea, uh, brioche bread, uh, red pepper, coconut, cream, leathergrass, lemongrass, leather, dark espresso, and dark chocolate are all players in this symphony. The flavors start to mend, and I'm getting earthy black pepper with sweet creamy smoke and charred wood along with sourdough, butter, dark chocolate, floral perfume, and leather. I can see why the cigar blend has won awards. This is the epitome of a full-bodied cigar. Some of us do not want full body, but I cannot with right mind put this cigar in only a few members' boxes. This is too special for us not to all enjoy. If you like milder cigars, do not retro and take shorter puffs. The aromatics of the cigar are second to none, and like a true, like all true masterpieces, there is something here for everyone. Pairing notes. High proof bourbon. Coca-Cola on ice, rum and coke, sour beer, Belgium triple beer, tripel beer, after steak and potatoes with chocolate ice cream with light roast coffee. Well, I couldn't have said it better myself. So Nick is somebody that um, 
If you've been following me for any amount of time, I talk about him a lot. He's one of the first people in this industry that took the time to you know, sit down with me and really just let me pick his brain. He's a total tobacco nerd, tobacco guru, whatever you wanna call him, he's amazing. And just the same, his overall persona, his character as a human being is just awesome. I mean, I actually love that guy like a brother. He's the coolest person to sit down with and smoke a cigar. If you ever have an opportunity to visit him during one of his events, he couldn't be more down to earth and just genuine. Like he would want to give you the time of sitting down with each and every one of you individually to like sit down and smoke a cigar and just have that conversation. He just makes everybody feel that way. So he's just a cool person. And again, aside from being cool and loving music and all that stuff, he makes um, some bitchin' cigars. So couldn't be more excited about this one. In fact, I am i don't even know when I'm gonna smoke that. Um, I actually have not this, well, no, he said it's the same one. It just has a special band, but I have um, a couple that I've received um, but again, just so, 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 so stoked to see that in the bag. So, okay, moving on, trying to contain my excitement. I think that was supposed to maybe be the, the last one and I maybe did it in the wrong order, but it's all good. Okay. So the K Karen, so Karen Berger, she's such a sweetheart and a beautiful sister of the leaf. So let's read about Karen, the K by Karen Maduro Robusto. This is a love story, possibly the most romantic story I will ever have the opportunity to write for you. Meet Karen Berger. Karen is a Nicaraguan woman who started a career in cigars about 25 years ago as a young female cigar roller in a factory in Central America. Um, this is around the time people started moving production of cigars to Nicaragua. Now meet Kiki Berger, a cigar industry legend and unsung hero. A lot of your favorite cigar blenders would not be who they are if it was not for Don Kiki. Kiki opened his factory in Esteli long before any of the major Nicaraguan brands ever thought about the country as an option. One day, Kiki sees a, f a new face on the production floor. Word gets, a word gets out at the around the factory that Don Kiki has eyes for Karen. As time passes, the two become fond of each other and become a couple, and eventually they marry. Don Kiki was one of the founders of Cuban Crafters, a Miami and Calle Ocho institution for cigars and cigar rolling. Cuban crafters and Don Kiki have rolled legendary cigars for legendary brands through the years using tobacco from his farm rolled by people like Karen. Uh, the couple spent the next 20 years in love, happy, dedicated to each other and the craft of cigar making. Together they tend, together they tend to the entire process from the tobacco fields on the farm they own to the blending process to the rollers on the production floor and even to the importation of tobaccos to sell in the United States. If you smoked cigars in the 90s and 2000s, you probably smoked tobacco from their farm. 20 years after building a small empire, a loving family and an immaculate re uh, reputation in the cigar industry, Don Kiki fell ill. I'm not sure how long of a process this was and I did not have the heart to ask Karen, but I got the idea it was not quick and painless. There are rumors that Karen even gave Kiki a kidney in the process of trying to nurse him back to health. When you meet Karen and listen to her speak of Kiki or notice all the pictures and posters of Kiki strewn throughout her shop in Daytona Beach, you realize what a true love the couple shared. Beyond age, race, or religion, true love that some of us will never know or understand. After Kiki's death, Karen was tasked to go at it alone and run this vertically integrated tobacco business alone. If anyone was ever trained and bred for this, it is her. To mark the beginning of a new era for her cigar career, she released the K by Karen line. Today you get the awesome opportunity to try the Maduro in a Robusto box press that is just gorgeous. It is not only a Nicaraguan puro, but an Esteli puro. That's awesome. Tasting notes. Malt chocolate, think Whoppers candy with cedar wood and a floral fragrance that resonate on the body and intensify on the foot of the cigar. Sweet hickory barbecue rub and salt on the cold draw. Sweet bread notes, black pepper, malted chocolate with cedar and salt on the tongue. I get a bread note I typically get from a Connecticut broadleaf. Dark roasted French roast coffee, charred cedar, French toast like cinnamon and sweet syrup, white toast and then something of a barley note. I start to get rye notes and cereal-like grain notes. The chocolate is reminding me of Cocoa Puff cereal. Towards the end, I get toasted cedar, 
Cocoa Puffs, barley, sweet, pungent, chalky smoke, some notes of creme de menthe with mixes with the chocolate notes like the chocolate mint in Girl Scout. Oh, chocolate milk Girl Scout cookies. Uh-oh. This cigar is a home run and I would possibly choose it over my favorite Padron in the same size. That's a hell of a statement to make. Um, very nice. In fact, I would. This is a kind of cigar that makes me so happy that we started this club. The discovery of such a gem and such a story. What a treat. Mint chocolate anything is a pairing note, sorry. No, mint chocolate anything, porter or coffee stout beers, Guinness, rye whiskey, Irish whiskey, Canadian whiskey, chocolate cake, Whoppers, after steak or lamb, red wine. So I've known Karen for a little while now and I've never been able to tell that story of her and Don Kiki, um, not even close to as eloquent as Brian just put it. So I'm so happy to see that. Um, she really is one of the sweetest people in the industry. Um, again, just there's so many people that I can say nice things about in this overall industry, but really genuinely, she's just a sweet woman. Um, I remember meeting her for the first time in Esteli. Actually, she came up to me and was telling me that, you know, she appreciated seeing another woman in the industry that was bringing light to, you know, the cigars and the different aspects of the industry. And this was a few years back. And ever since then, um, every time I see her, I mean, it's just a, it's a nice reconnection and it's always great to see um again somebody that has so much passion not only for the cigars that she's making but really with that backstory of i think for her you know continuing that tradition that her husband um started and just really you see that love when she when she does talk about you know don kiki it's just with you know glazed over love in her eyes so it's it's a beautiful story and i'm, I'm so glad to see that he really did um the story justice there so that was very nicely nicely put. So moving on, we have this little unbanded bandit here. So these are the type of cigars that I, I hate to point this out, but I do see people out and about at events that aren't sure because it has the tapered ends on both. And they're like, which end do I light? Which one do I put in my mouth? So let me just uh, address that. You always cut the cigar. So if it's already cut on one end, that's an easy indicator that that's the end that you light. Just throwing that out there in case there's anyone popping by this channel that, um, has like, you know, never smoked a cigar, never had a tapered cigar, um, like a figurato shape that happens. And I've seen it and I always feel bad, like correcting somebody. Not that it's, I guess it's not a huge deal, but it's just not really how it's meant to smoke. So anyways, I'm rambling on, sorry, let me stick to, um, what's written about this. So this is El Granjero Maduro Figurado. El Granjero is a man of mystery. No one knows his true identity, and those that do will not speak of it. Please do not discuss this story with anyone outside the club. Wow. So top secret. It is okay to share the pictures and the name, but not the backstory, as I have no idea how legal it is for me to send you this cigar. Oh, wow. That's intriguing. Um, I also have no idea what it is or where the tobaccos are from. <laughs> That's funny. Here is the rumor or legend as it was told to me. El Granjero is a farmer from deep in the countryside of Cuba. He is also a cigar roller who reached master roller levels at a very young age. He spent his childhood rolling cigars in Havana before moving to a tobacco farm sometime in his teenage years. There he dedicated his life to growing the finest tobacco in the world the world will, will ever know. His superpower was apparently treating soil. He also fell in love with a young woman who he got pregnant. I have no idea how much of this is true or not, but the woman left for America with her family illegally. After years passed, he got word that he had a son in the U.S. Apparently, this ate him up. Aww. Around this time, he had around this time some of the Saudi royalty started producing cigars from the royal family in Cuba. Around this time, some of the Saudi royalty started producing cigars for the royal family in Cuba. Okay. Apparently, El Granjero's tobacco and rolling team was very favored by the higher-ups, and so he became connected with some very heavy political and financial people on a personal level. That's always good. He shared this story with the prince of a royal family who offered to buy his freedom in exchange for cigar production. Wow. Wow. At this level of political connectedness, a lot of rules and laws do not apply. For instance, after arriving in the States, supposedly the prince would fly tobacco in from all over the world, including Cuba, to have El Gran role for the royal families of the Middle East. Rumor has it that El Granjero apparently lives on a tobacco farm 
on the somewhere in the American panhandle and grows his own tobacco with his son, who is now around 20 years old and may or may not be a fan and member of Pravada Cigar Club. With the abundance of tobaccos left over from the Royal Cigars, El Gran blends some very unique cigars with the unique flavors and shapes. The cigar you're holding is a Figurado in a box press. I've never seen such a thing. This is a definitely a unique cigar. Yeah, that's that's a good point. It is a box press. That is that is rather different um, for this particular shape. Um, huh. Ooh, it has a beautiful aroma. Very nice. So tasting notes. I smell beef jerky. Yeah, I was going to say that. I smell beef jerky and cinnamon along with the sweet chocolate on the body. The draw starts tight due to its shape, but loosens as the cigar burns in a bit. Once it opens up, there is an initial pepper zing along with an amazing sweet cocoa. Mm, where am I at? sweet cocoa and a salty residue on the lips. I'm imagining a chocolate mousse with black pepper as the smoke progresses. The construction of this thing is unreal. It's almost architectural. It has leather, sweet floral notes, milk chocolate with creamy pepper smoke. I get thyme herb notes, buttery sweet croissant like bread notes, vanilla, lavender, and dried apricots. I cut the cigar again at this point as I do with most figurados to open up the draw and prevent the oils from clogging the draw. The sweetness is so dominant, it reminds me of dried cherries with dark chocolate chips, banana chips, creamy leathery smoke, and lavender. It's like a gourmet, gourmet trail mix of flavors with slight pepper through the retro hero. There are sweet candies, dried fruits, cocoa, alternating between dark, light and dark, lavender, toasted, uh, bread, rosemary, creamy chocolate, and a really interesting sarsaparilla type note. Wow. It then continues with a slime zing, leather, more lavender floral, and a minty pepper on the tongue. Finally, there are notes of sweet raspberry cream, spicy wasabi, and deep espresso. Another home run for the club. What a find. Pairing notes, gourmet trail mix, roasted nuts, dried fruits, cognac, lager, port wine, dark chocolate, after spicy tuna sushi, spicy guacamole, or cheesecake. That's super funny with the pairing notes. That's like so random. Spicy tuna sushi, spicy guacamole, or cheesecake. <laughs> so you have all your bases covered. Um, that's awesome. That's a really interesting story. And um, what a cool find. I mean, wow, that's... Uh, definitely has an incredible aroma pick up it, it does it's like a sweet beef jerky type of uh you know smell to it it's really nice so wow that's fantastic and again i think i skipped because there is this nice little footnote from brian which i will read in closing um, it says, I've always wanted to share awesome experiences with my friends, family, and loved ones. It was never good enough or never felt quite right if only I got to have something to do uh, or do something fun. I wanted to share it. This is the men mentality that created Provada Cigar Club. I only smoke the best cigars and now you do too. That is the theme here. Sharing the best, hashtag we are Provada. With that in mind, I think you can grasp what makes us different from all the rest. When you are a member of Pravada, you only smoke the best cigars this industry has to offer, and you get to share them with a community of like-minded, hashtag SOTL and hashtag BOTL. If you know anyone that should also get the best cigars in the game, refer them to our website. We still have spaces available before we close our doors to the public. Oh, wow. Peace, Brian. So yeah, I didn't know they were going to be closing their doors to the public. That's definitely not something that you want to wait until you can't get in any longer. This is a highly recommended club. I've done several videos now sharing, you know, what I get every month um, in my shipments. They also have, you know, some different things on their website, which were added not too long ago where you can go on and order if they have like, for example, any extras of their special stash, they might put some of them up for a limited time until they're out. And then once they're out, they're out kind of a thing. So I personally like that exclusivity. I like to get the cigars that again, especially um, to be able to utilize those posts on, on Instagram, those cigars that are rare, um, hard to find, unique, or again, just a really cool backstory. Like in this case, you know, the K by Karen isn't necessarily a super, super rare cigar, but it has a beautiful story. And it's something that maybe a lot of you aren't familiar with just because it's probably not available in a lot of different locations, but it's still a fantastic cigar. I mean, Brian's comparing it to, or actually saying he would prefer to smoke this over a Padron, which is huge. Um, so 
again, great, great lineup as always. Um, I've said it and I mean it. I've yet to be disappointed with any of my shipments that I've received. And I'm really extra excited about this little uh, wise man Maduro cigar. So um, as always, I love to hear from all of you. I love seeing the comments. There's so many of you that I see that have joined the club and you like to share, you know, some of you get a similar lineup. Some of you have a couple different ones mixed in, but I always appreciate all of you guys tagging me in your posts and definitely make sure you show the love on Instagram to provide a cigar club and to any of the brands that are sent in your monthly shipments so that they can continue to provide great cigars for all of us. And again, thanks so much for tuning in and hanging out. And I can't wait to see you guys soon. Cheers.